G'day. Recently, I've been working on several retro systems, including the SIM one that was given to me by Jonathan. And once again, a big thank you to Jonathan. And he also gave me a second super board, but this is my original super board. And all of these systems use the 2114 static RAM chips and that's uh, 1024 by 4 bit chips in 18 pin packages and this machine supports up to 8K. It's an 8 bit machine so I need two chips for every K and the same with the SIM1 and this is a remake of the Electronics Australia mini computer system using the 2650 processor. And these machines all need those RAM chips. And unfortunately, the chips on my original Superboard, a uh, lot of the chips had gone bad over time. And I've been ordering RAM chips from AliExpress, which I'm not sure is the best place to be buying RAM from. But so far I've had a, a mixed um, bag of chips, uh, probably 80% of the chips seem to function okay. Um, so what I needed was a, a way that I could test these chips before I start inserting them onto the boards. So I found this little project on GitHub and it just uses an Arduino uh, Nano and it's quite a simple little circuit and I'll link the GitHub to the project and it seems to work reasonably well. So what I'm planning to do is order some PCBs, because um, this might be a useful tool to have around. Okay, and it uses the two LEDs to indicate either a successful pass or a fail. So there's a green and a red LED, and it also generates a log on the serial port so you can actually see where it's actually failed so you can see that this chip that I have in there at the moment is a bad chip unfortunately okay and it uh, yeah has some problems with the address lines and it's unable to run a sequence or a pattern and read write and then read it back successfully but some of these chips seem to be perfectly okay and passed so I just found this to be a, an interesting little project and yeah I'm going to have a PCB and I'm just going to put some uh, I'll use a zip socket just to make it much easier on the circuit board and then I can quickly go through and test my RAM chips I believe that some of these chips are bad, but I'm going to retest them. Some of them are good, and some I'm actually using, and they're working without any real issues. Um, yeah, so I found this interesting. Um, maybe it's not, but um, yeah, I hope someone else found it interesting and maybe helpful, especially if you need to test static RAM chips for your Superboard or a Kim or Sim 1 or you're using them on a uh, 2650 system. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.